Hey everyone, my name is Flair Blitz and welcome to a brand new kind of video on my channel talking about recently released information of an upcoming title and from the title of the video you guess what game it is already. While I live in the United Kingdom on December the 1st, new images have been uploaded to Pitch Black's Game Jolt page done beautifully, if I don't say so myself. Luifer has done an incredible job creating all these images. I appreciate it if you give Luifer all the support you can, because doing something like this must take up an incredible amount of time. Anyways, these are the new images on screen. The only two which that I don't believe that have not been updated are the thumbnail images you can see on the far left side and the far right image showing the parody Thebe image. Don't put A in the comments if I'm wrong though. It's just my assumption as the thumbnail has been there for a few weeks now and the e-parody image is of a different size. The best way to look at the artist oh, <clears throat> The best way to look at the artistical slash aesthetical differences, I believe, is to compare the artwork of Claire when she's having a conversation to someone or talking to herself. As you can see, ranging from the fourth update that re that's recently been taken off from being downloaded to the recent image that's been uploaded of most recent. The fifth image I found is a conversation where Game Jolt user Wired Shutdown 9001 poses a question: How many more updates before the version? Full version? And Louis replied with two images. There's a fifth on the way. Question mark. One of them shown as spoiler is the image that you see under the text fifth update. Question mark. I put a question mark there because of the latest image might be the one will be seen in the fifth update. Who knows? Now about the comparison about these three images itself, we can tell that there are a tremendous amount of short, in-depth, detailed changes to make the character seem a lot crispier, clearer. The most obvious changes to Claire is the colour aesthetics and a lot of lighting implementations to be outside of her hair, where the inside as well is covered by the shadow created by Claire's, sorry, Claire's long hair and head. The brown looks a lot crisper and there's so many different browns throughout the hearing of Claire. I mean, you can try and um, what's it, um, paint, uh, uh, water, no, not watermark, um, there's a tool used in Photoshop in order to specify a specific hex colour, but I'll get back to that in some other point. But where was I? Oh yes, and I've seen the character looks so realistic like this. So once again, I appreciate if you give Louis for all of the support you can. I don't say I don't know about you, but I don't know. Say a nice comment or something, or message Louis for with something nice to show all the time that Louis has spent on creating this game. Because on graphics, no other indie game could come close to this, in my opinion. Put down in the comments if you can find a free indie role-playing styled horror game role-playing side horror game that has graphics like this they're just amazing okay selection we can see there are other aesthetical changes to where every aspect including the walls flooring and furniture has been given more in-depth brushes to resonate more clarity and res realis sorry realism to them Fee's hairstyle has changed slightly where you can see more of the center top section of her forehead if you know what I mean, between her eyes there's a patch of forehead. <laughs> Sorry about that. Another small change is both Fee and Claire when talking to one another. The character art artwork, if you don't seem to notice, covers a bigger proportion of the screen top to bottom than the previous versions did. The vestiges you find around the game have more clarity to them, showing a more landscape oval width ways. So what I mean by that is that the oval that covers the eyes is more width ways than previously when it was just that the eye pupil was more circular, also covering more uh, vertical waves. More detail to the eye and the oval qualities everywhere else of the vestige. And lastly, this image over here stands out for me far than any of the others. For small details, of it looks like by the door there are lots of kakemonas, which are Japanese scroll paintings or calligraphies mounted usually with silk fabric edges on a flexible backing so they can be rolled for storage. 
I have no idea about what those are because I just simply did a Google search of Japanese scrolls and it came up with that. And it looks pretty close enough to me. Anyways, once again, don't give me hate if this is wrong. Now, lastly, the biggest aspect about this particular image is the location that it's within. If you've played the past demo updates of Pitch Black like myself, you know that this is a completely unfamiliar area where it is a completely new section of the game where we don't know of yet. I don't know about you, but this has got me incredibly excited for a new update for Pitch Black. The biggest giveaway for why this is a new area, in my perspective, is because of the save point, as you can see by the table. There hasn't been a save point this close to a set of stairs up until now, and the generic surroundings of the hallways look unfamiliar. For closest to what we were expecting throughout future updates of Pitch Black, look through the README document provided with the game under the Frequently Asked Questions section. You can't throw it, miss it, sorry. Any writing with brackets included in the video is a little comment I've added in, but don't worry, you won't be seeing this in your README because it's just a little thing I did myself so I can give a little light of my own in this FAQ. Gonna let you guys absorb all of this in for about a minute for this section, two minutes within the
For other news about Pitch Black or any future titles by Lucifer, check out this Tumblr page. It will be useful for, well, as it says underneath the name, development news and other stuff about me. Thank you very much guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, or found it useful or inspiration in any way, shape or form, and we'll see you on the next time. Don't forget to do two very important things before you click off this video. First of all, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and lastly check out Louifer's wonderful Game Jolt and Tumblr pages. They are some lovely, awesome inspirations. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day.